Yeah, pr- pricing has been crazy. Like a a season in in F- Formula Regional, I think it's two hundred and thirty thousand euro, five weekends, and that doesn't include like hotels or I'm not sure if that includes extra tires, damages as well. You know, it, it's it's a lot of cost that comes into these things. Um, but another thing is that Formula Four and Formula Three, I think they're too close right now. Mm. Or the Formula Four and the frat cars, or the Formula Regional cars, yeah, they're too close. Um, five second difference or something. That that's that. This might as well call them the same thing. If you if you really want to make a difference, you get rid of F four. You you use something like Formula Ford to really coach young carters to drive. You put them then into a Formula Three car where there's a bit more aero than F two because the the jumps are F four F three is basically the same thing. You got FIA three, which is a bit above, you know, regional cars, and then F two is here, and then F one's up here, right? That's a big difference and big jumps. If you really want to make a ladder and a feeder series, you make it equal and you make it so drivers learn at each point and they don't just skip complete championships and go into them not not really knowing what's going on, causing crashes, carnage. It's 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 a bit of a mess, and that's where Flores's point about the super license points would be really useful. Um, and I know we were talking about Formula One teams backing and stuff, um, but but the problem with some drivers having a lot of financial give, you know, able to jump around doing different championships throughout a season, is that you got them being really aggressive and they can afford the crash damage, so they go for these moves that other drivers, you know, they they, they can't fight that one because you know at one crash, say like Chen. Chem in round one, that mm-hmm. really big crash has put him out for the season. You know, it's it's that easy. You know, you lose half the car, that's your season done. You can't continue anymore. Mm-hmm. And some of these guys are coming in, they're breaking one, two chassis and continuing on, and it's no worries for them. Mm-hmm. So maybe a cap cost as well um, in feeder series. Would you have that like, as a per driver sort of thing that you'd have the cap cost that the driver would only be able to have some repairs for the season or something along the lines of that? Yeah, something like that or point reductions if they go above it, stuff like that. You know, it's all well and good making the cars safer, but it's not stopping crashing, making them safer. If anything, it's, it's oh, they're a bit stronger now. I can see if I can get a bit closer. I think, that's um, a really, I think that's a really good suggestion, yeah. actually. I'm, I'm, you always think of a cost cap as in, let's stop the team spending so much money. But if you looked at it from a driver perspective in the junior seat formula, that's an idea I've not actually heard of and I think would be make it a bit fairer between the haves and the have-nots.